Sadness. At first I was afraid. <laughs> I was petrified. <laughs> Anger kept thinking how I could never live without you by my side. Slight happiness. <laughs> but then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong. And I grew strong. I learned how to get along. Upbeat. <laughs> so you're back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face. Anger. I should have changed that stupid lock. I should have made you leave your key. <laughs> if I had known for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. Anger. So now go. Walk out the door. Disappointment. Just turn around. You're not welcome anymore. <laughs> Weren't you the one that tried to hurt me with goodbye? Did you think I'd crumble? Did you think I'd lay down and die? <laughs> Upbeat tempo. Oh no, not I. I will survive. <laughs> oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. Slight happiness. <laughs> I've got all my life to live. I've got all my love to give, and I'll survive. I will survive. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I had any work done on my teeth, I had them drill into my teeth and put fillings in without getting any numbing done first. The because I wanted to eat afterwards. <laughs> and I didn't want to have to I didn't want to have a jaw that only half worked, so I'm yeah. just spilling food all over myself. I was like they said, okay, we're going to drill into your tooth. How much numbing do you want? And I said, none. And they looked at me like a crazy person. And I said, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten since I woke up this morning. And it is now like two o'clock because I knew I was going to have to get my teeth drilled. And I really want to eat. And if you put numbing into my mouth, I'm not going to be able to feel anything. And I'm going to chew off my own tongue. So just don't numb it and just drill into there. You have weird priorities. I would have just been hungry for a while. So, the suicide mission onto other... We keep jumping from one dark topic to another. We can go back to the, the suicide... The suicide mi mission! What's your favorite suicide mission, Mike? Oh, boy! How about the one at the beaches of Normandy? Well, maybe less of a suicide mission. They tried not to make it a suicide... They tried to make it as not a suicide mission as Waves possible. and waves of American soldiers getting gunned down. Wasn't that amazing? Look up Operation Mincemeat. It's actually super, super interesting. Uh, okay, go ahead. I'm, I'm ready to go on a third tangent. What are you talking you about want here? A third tangent? Okay, so before the, the Normandy invasions, and it's actually the, the amount of planning that it is brilliant, because they convinced the entire German military that we were not landing at Normandy, that we were landing at other beaches. So the defenses at Normandy were not as good as they could have been. That's right, I remember that. Operation Mincemeat was a plan to spread false information to Germany, and the way they went about Operation Mincemeat is they came at the... The British government basically created a fake admiral. They found a dead transient, like a dead homeless man that basically had gone into a hospital and died. Mm -hmm. They shaved him, got him, got him looking, or like shaved his beard off, got him looking somewhat nice, uh, dressed him up in like admirals or like captain's clothing. Uh -huh. uh, basically, someone that was like higher rank, but not so high rank that it would be suspicious. So mm -hmm. not an admiral. They put, uh, they gave him a briefcase. And put a bunch of papers in that talking about the invasion was going to be taking place somewhere else mm -hmm. in France. Okay. Um, just tons of documents on this stuff. And they blacked out some of it to make it look like it was still secret. They kept other stuff that was still relevant. They put other things in there. They doctored photos to make it look like he had a family. They put that stuff in there. They gave him a wedding ring to make it look like... They basically flushed out a full backstory for this random homeless guy that had died in a hospital. They made his fake life far more interesting than his actual life probably was. Oh, yeah. They took, put a life vest on him and then chucked him off the side of a boat near German territorial waters. And they just assumed that the Germans would be able to pick him up? Well, because he would, they, th because of tides, he would, uh, he would eventually wash up on the beach. Mm -hmm. um, the Germans found him, and I think it actually took a while for them to buy it because they were like, this is like, because they basically, they dropped him off on a beach like right after a ship had been sunk or something like that. I see. Um, or they said on a radio that basically one of their ships had been sunk by a German, I don't, I don't remember specifically how it went about. Anyway, the Germans found this information and they bought it like wholesale. It took them a long time for them to actually be like, you know what? No, this is, this is actual genuine information, but they bought it. They bought all of it. They believed that this invasion was going to be happening somewhere else. 
And then coupled that with, um, that was Operation Mincemeat, coupled with a bunch of the other things they did, like, uh, the British set, or the British and Americans set up a bunch of, like, a thousand tank strong, like, tank battalion, but all the tanks were made out of, uh, inflatable tanks. Uh, yeah, I've heard about that too, They made, yeah. like, really convincing ones, so the aerial photography would make the Germans think, oh, they're planning a land invasion over at this area. They did, there's so much stuff into... That went into uh, the D-Day Normandy invasions. It was a modern terracotta army. It's it's amazing. And they did it in such a way that the Normandy invasions could have been so much worse. They could have been just a million times worse. And, like, if you watch Saving Private Ryan, you see those big, like, those uh, big X-shaped things that are all on the beach. The people that the U.S. soldiers are, like, trying to hide behind. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck is the point of those things? Well... A lot of people are like, oh, those are tank traps. They're so that tanks can't go on the beach. But they're not, like, really spread out far enough or, like, close enough together to be tank traps. Mm -hmm. And it would be much more efficient just to put down landmines. What those actually are is they are... They're spikes to jam into the bottom of, uh, like, beach craft. Oh, okay. And because the U.S. invaded at low tide, (laughs) not high tide, (laughs) when the Germans thought they were going to be invading was at high tide... Because it would have been, like, uh, nighttime, I mm-hmm. think. So that it would have been easier to get people on the beach without the Germans being able to see them, for the most part. But because the U.S. Inf- effectively invaded at low tide, those things were all rendered useless because they were sitting way up on the beach where the landing craft were supposed to be coming in. The Germans were thinking, there's no way they're going to invade at low tide because they'd have to run up a bunch of really they'd soggy have to go, sand. They'd have to go even farther up the beach. So there's no reason they would invade at low tide because then that just turns this whole area into a killing field. Which it was. But they literally thought there was no way we were going to invade then because it would make more distance that you'd have to cover. There's no way. Under machine gun fire and artillery fire and mortar fire. It's just like, it's it's incredible. Anyway, we're we're so far off topic now. No, it's relevant because the ship is named Normandy. (laughs) Oh, yeah, it is relevant. So yeah, that has to go with that. The Normandy invasions. You can still find like ordnance and stuff on the the Normandy beach. I wasn't aware of that. If you go out there with a metal detector, you can find... Well, it's... You're going to be finding it forever. You're just like bullets and like hand grenades that were like lost there, which by now the hand grenades have like completely lost any explosive things or explosives that were in them. Granted, if you do happen to be walking along a beach in Normandy and you find a hand grenade, I wouldn't recommend pulling the <laughs> pin out of it and throwing it to see if it's still alive. <laughs> I would probably maybe call the police unless you're a collector and you know how to do, and you know what to do with things like that. But yeah, you can find all kinds of stuff there. That we should go there on our next vacation. We should on our next vacation. And slightly other random note about finding things on battlefields. A bunch of the battlefields in France from World War I. There were so many dead bodies in these battlefields that the next 10 years in France had some of the most... Because ba- all almost all these battles in, that took place in France were fought on effectively farmland. Yeah. And just like nowhere in France. Because all of these... Ba- or there's so many people died the crops for the next 10 years were bountiful because of all of the human fertilizer that had been left out there. Jeez. So much so that the French farmers called it the blood harvest. Wow. Because there were so many dead bodies that were just fertilizing all the plants. I was not aware of that one. Yep, that I, is completely true. I, Granted, a bunch of the battlefields have been turned into a completely rotten wasteland because of all the chemical weapons that have dumped out there mm. to the point that there's actually full abandoned villages in France that you're not allowed to go to because there's ton- literal tons of unexploded ordnance including chemical weapons that are out there that they don't know where they are and they can't get rid of them. <laughs> I wasn't aware of that part either. Yeah. Little ghost towns in France, you say. Yeah, they're they're more like small villages where there's only like a couple surviving buildings, but there's still like the trenches are still out there. Mm. Granted, a lot of them have caved in and stuff. It's super interesting. Shall we get to the suicide mission? We shall get to the suicide mission. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. We have to rescue our crew! The Collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. Oh, man, we got two hours to sit around? Well, we can talk about World War II for two hours. Or oh. World War I, which is equally as interesting, and yet nobody ever talks about it. You see all those trenches that have been covered with overgrowth over the years? Pretty cool. Yeah, those are pretty cool. I'm going over documents. So, I've taken some antibiotics as well. Oh! As some herbal supplements that should bolster my immune system. I was going to bring music... 
But I didn't know what you'd like. And I'm babbling like an idiot. Oh, Tali, she's so awkward and cute. I'm, I'm sorry, Tali, we need to focus on the mission right now. Yeah, we need to focus on the mission, Tali. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I'm pre very preoccupied right now. <laughs> you, no, you're- It's okay. okay. Come it's here. too hot for you two. <laughs> just, just, just black all this in. Nope, nope, you can't look at this. Don't look at this. It's not appropriate. I just don't want to. I want this to work. I thought it over. I've minimized the risks, but I'm still nervous, and that always makes me talk too much. It's a defense mechanism, and it's stupid, and people who who just see the helmet can't see my expression, so I No, don't take off her helmet! You're gonna kill her! What I'm... feeling. Oh, do we get to see what Tali looks like? No, nope. not in this game. <laughs> nope! And now you hug faces. Ah! <laughs> Did you see the <laughs> I, I saw him. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Just down there for a second. Shepard, I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. My team is strong! We could do- oh wait. Terrence Shepard's team was strong. They could do anything! And with Tali's love, Terrence Shepard could do anything! And also Sonic's love! We can't forget about that, because Sonic loves Shepard. Loves me- I mean Shepard. I can only imagine the elusive man is hearing this and going, Yeah, I made the right choice bringing you back. <laughs> I made the right choice! <laughs> Terrence, as he's as Terrence Shepard's just drooling on himself, and one of his eyes is like flickering <laughs> open and closed. He's having a seizure. I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. If we stick together, we'll make it. I knew we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Except myself, Despite of course. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. What? The first human to take a ship through and survive. This isn't. A, what are you, Miss Frizz? This isn't a field trip, buddy. <laughs> This isn't gonna be like what's his name where he takes his helmet off on Pluto. Yeah. Oh yeah, Arnold took his helmet off. Oh, on Pluto. he did! He did for sure. <laughs> Miss Frizz, you are a bad teacher. <laughs> How are you gonna take other kids on field trips after the lawsuit? <laughs> yeah, why don't you come with us, elusive man? I've got room on the Normandy if you're that eager to see it. It's a tempting offer, but it's not my. No, problem. I don't want to die. I thank just you. Want you to know, I appreciate the risk you're taking, regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me. You are a valuable asset to all of He's got a halo around his head. Be careful, Shepard. Yes, I'm he, sure that was he had like a He had like a halo around his head, like yeah. he's some kind of Christ figure. <laughs> what, you don't think he is? No. I think he's kind of a dick. You're kind of the Christ figure. You're the one who came back to life to save humanity. Karen Shepard arose from the grave. Approaching a Mega 4 relay. Everyone stand by. Let's make it happen. And high five Jesus. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, the drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical level. Oh, are we just going to explode? There we go. Maybe. Maybe and this then the Normandy just explodes. Boom! <laughs> Brace for deceleration. No one's ever made it out of this thing alive. Oh, God! Oh, shit! Oh, that's why nobody's ever made it out alive. Yep, that's probably why, yep. Because it's littered with debris. Who put all this debris in front of the again, the Mass Effect game? <sighs> too close. Time for me to start writing my Stargate fanfiction too. So you're, now you're in collector space. Nobody has ever survived this place before. No, and there's that ship. These must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega-4 relay. Some look ancient. You see, like, Sputnik is I in there. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. Like, Sputnik and also, um, Voyager. Yeah, they teamed up to go through the Omega-4 relay. That's actually something that NASA didn't tell you. Has to be the collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. Voyager went up into space grabbed Sputnik and was like, come on, buddy, we're going to space. And Sputnik was like, beep boop, fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> well, we have a little bit of a problem here. I, mean, I don't know that. Careful, Jeff, we have company. Oh, now I know that. Beep, 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 beep. Taking evasive maneuvers. Remember, kids, knowing is half the battle. The other half is lasers. Yeah, they're just pissing me off. Take these bastards out! As long as the new plating holds. You want another round? 
Come on, girl. Let's give it to him. Did you ever get the armor upgraded on the Normandy? I think so. If I didn't, we'll have to start over. I thought I bought all the armor upgrades. Oh boy. You know, it's space, so like why is he doing these like weird vertical rolls? Alert. Hull breach on engineering deck. It's in the cargo hold. I'll take a team and deal with the intruder. You get the rest of them off our tail. Aye aye, Commander. Um, so people gotta go with me to fight these things? Yeah, you have to take out the thing that's in your cargo bay. Oh, well, I'm gonna bring strong people. What, you don't think Jack is strong? I don't think Jack is willing to do anything anymore. <laughs> ah, yes, fornication. We'll give Grunt fornication, <laughs> fornication. level... <laughs> oh, I don't know. Alright, let's go deal with whatever this... I haven't even been down here, what is this? Ah, it's a giant eyeball! It's well, that thing's big, it's way bigger than I thought it was! Yes, it is, and it's firing lasers at you! How is it flying in and out of the ship? Ah, there it is! <laughs> yeah. Oh, heavy weapons, okay. Too bad you only have the arc projector. That's a heavy weapon. With one ammo in it. It's firing its laser face at you. It's also not great against armor. There. We're sitting ducks out here. I have to try to lose them in the debris field. Okay, Seth Green. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. We're going in. Oh, we did upgrade it. His armor is still on. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is gonna be a good story to tell people, huh? We're out non critical power. This is gonna hurt. What, Kasumi, what are you doing? Damage report. Kinetic barrier steady at 30%. No significant damage. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. Oh, see, he has a newfound respect for Edie. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. Oh no, it's in the cargo hold! Oh, that, I'm in here with it. That's where ah! you are, yes! Take co okay, I can't take cover behind this thing. Seems to be working okay. It's not terrible. You are being hit by his laser, though. That's all right. I got lots of armor. So does he. Actually, no, it's gone. Yes, Zed. I know. Pew! Son of a bitch. Better stay dead this time. Yeah, that's Keep right, Zed. We're about to clear the debris field. Hey, Zed. Hey, hey, hey. You know Tally? Yeah. I had sex with her. There it is. <laughs> the collector base. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. I got a folder right down there. Too late. That's weird. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. Oh, good. Thank God. I'm so happy. Why can't we just, like, launch a bunch of photon torpedoes at it or whatever we have? Mass drivers? Mass drivers. Why couldn't we just fire mass drivers at it? We shoot lasers at it. Why couldn't we fire mass drivers at it? What's a mass driver? Uh, mass driver is basically, uh, kind of like a particle accelerator, only it's not a particle. It's a, literally just like a chunk of mass that you're firing at it. At very, 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 very high velocity. Time to show our new team. Fire the main gun. How does it work? Oh boy, I hope Garrus calibrated this thing properly! How do you like that, you sons of bitches? Get in close and finish him off. Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride! Joker breaks his arm doing that. <laughs> ah! Shit! Give him hell, girl. That's a big cannon, you know? The uh, Thanix Wait, cannon. weren't there a bunch of humans on that shit? Uh, you know what? Eh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, take that, my crew! Field generators are offline. Edie, give me something. Generators unresponsive. All for impact. Oh, good. Oh, um, this is supposed to happen. 
Is it really? We're Tokyo drifting right now. Miranda's just like, ah! ah! <laughs> This is this is okay. This is okay. That folder is still down <laughs> that there. That folder is still glitched there. <laughs> Joker, you okay? <sighs> I think I broke a rib, or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. I'm not throwing my life away. I'll do whatever it takes to stop the collectors, but I plan to live to tell about it. I'm glad you're in charge. What's next? See, he's glad I'm in charge. In charge. In charge. In charge. Uh, will the ship be safe here? How long until the collectors find this landing zone? I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the collectors do not expect anyone to reach the base. And nobody will ever make but it here! Their external sensors were hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. Nah, I'm sure he'll be fine. Nobody's supposed to make it here! How'd they even make it here? What? The okay, uh, computer, where are they located? You didn't put any external sensors on your ship, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> that folder's still there. <laughs> all right, team. We're not all gonna survive this. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors, and that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. Beep boop! You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. If that means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew, or any of the colonists, are still alive, the Collectors are probably holding them in there. It looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. Yeah! No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. Um... Alright, Captain Strategist. What's your plan here? You can look for alternatives, you could create a distraction, or you could just blow the doors straight open. Let's look for alternatives! It's not a fortress. There's gotta be something. Here. Maybe we can send someone in through this ventilation shaft. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? Mmm, an interesting idea. Um, I could send Tali because Tali is very, very good at tech stuff. I think Thane might be. Sneaky enough, but I don't know how good he is at tech. But Legion would probably be good for that. Uh, okay, short list at this point Tali, Garrus, Legion, and Kasumi. Not gonna go with Morton or Thane or Jacob? No, I think. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, probably the three best to send would be. Short list is Legion, Kasumi, and Tali. Because. Legion is just made of tech. Tali knows how to fix tech. And Kasumi is real sneaky and also good at hacking shit. Okay. So I think one of those three... We're gonna go with Kasumi, because I bet she could do a real sneaky like. Kasumi, you've got the tech skills to do this. I won't let you down. The rest of us will break into two teams and bite down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. I will you. flush you out the airlock. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Um, oh. It's the leader for the alternate squad. Uh, while I hate to say it, I think Miranda probably would be the best choice. Or Garrus. Why don't you walk me through your decision making here? Um, well, Miranda is already very good at leading things. She is. She does have a lot of experience leading the uh, the whole program to not make me dead. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. Or to make me not dead. Um, Jacob would also probably be good. Legion, I don't think so. I think Legion is probably better at doing almost more solo stuff. I think Legion has too much to worry about to, uh, be able to tell other people what to do with all of his personalities. Um, 
Jack can fuck off. I don't care. <laughs> uh, Samara, not again, not really a leader. More of a lone wolf. Grunt is just strunk. Zed, again, lone wolf, not really a leader. Morden, maybe? But I kind of want to save Morden for any, like, like, medical stuff that I might need him to do. Because if we do find any survivors on there, I want him to be there to help any of the survivors and get them able to do things. Okay. Um, and Tali, not really a leader, again. So I think... Garrus, Miranda, Jacob. Yeah, that would probably be my choices. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with... We'll go with Miranda. Just to piss Jack off. <laughs> Miranda's right. She should be in charge. I won't let you down, Shepard. Alright, everyone, be careful. I don't know what we're gonna find in there, but I won't lie to you. It's not gonna be easy. We've lost good people. We may lose more. Uh, lives depend on us. Lives depend on that, Captain Shepard. Everyone knew that he was the one that would lead them to victory and defeat the Nazi menace. We don't know how many the collectors have stolen. Thousands, hundreds of thousands. It's not important. What matters is this. Not one more. That's what we can do here today. It ends with us. They want Joker's playing solitaire. I say we show them on our terms. Let's bring our people home. Yeah, spoken like a true leader. Why can't you speak like that, Terrence? Oh, apparently there's a breathable atmosphere here. Yes, who decided that? Science did. Wait, who's going with Miranda? Miranda picked her own squad. Oh, okay. And apparently it includes Thane. Alright, well, whatever. That's fine. Alright, we're entering a base. Morden? I'm inside the ventilation shaft, Shep. It's hot in here, but it's clear. Morden, don't let me down. Tali, Second you know team. what to do. Are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. So we're gonna go sneaky sneaky infiltrate, hopefully maybe sneak around. I don't know if we're going sneaky sneaky, but... Sneaky sneaky, no one knows we're here. Uh, I think they know we're here. They've seen us. Bada bing, bada boom, and shooting Tally. I didn't shoot Tally, I shot in between when she was running. It's like an interrupter on uh, old airplanes. Oh yes, those. Just gotta clear out a couple of these guys. Okay. Nah, they're soft. Soft and squishy, down they go. Weak! Weak! You gonna chase this guy down? Weak! Weak! <laughs> nice. Filthy beauty aliens! Something's blocking the pipe. Gotta find a way through that gate up ahead. There, over by the ventilation shaft. That valve should oh. open the gate. Oh, no, let's just open this thing. There it goes. Heading through the gate now. You go for it, Kasumi. Empty pods. And more collectors! Hooray! Oh. Oh. Hey, look, it's Harbinger! Hi, Harbinger! I see the other valve! Enemies above! Oh, so they are! Hey, they're flying in! Hooray! Oh, look, Harbinger took direct control again. Hi! Oh. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get booped by you either. <laughs> oh, I took care of it. Looks like another one of those. Yeah, yeah, we got you. Got it before she could even say anything. So we'll have people shooting with fire ammo and cryo ammo. Not a bad strategy. You melt the people that are frozen. Oh, I think everybody has cryo ammo now. Oh, do you have squad cryo? I think I might have squad cryo ammo. I see. You got squad cryo ammo, so now everyone's got cryo ammo. Oh well. Nah, eh, good enough. Hi, drone. How are you? Hello, drone. Damn it, I'm blocked again. What do you think she it's named her drone? Do you think she named it? She did name it. Yeah, she's got a name for it. She calls it out sometimes. Really? Oh, specialist is in danger. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, Kasumi kind of needs you to vent the vent. Yee. -ee -ee -ee. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. There it goes. Heading through the gate now. I guess it was way too hot in there. Yeah, it gets a little boily. 
Well, maybe I should have sent Legion. He would have been comfortable. No, he wouldn't. His peak processor efficiency is not that high. No, it's a valid point, I guess. Nice work, Chef. Continuing down. Ah! Look out! It's a couple of triplets. We all think alike. I think I'm getting the hell out of here now. No! No! no, 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 no. <laughs> He was getting taken over, and I killed him before he could take him <laughs> over. Ah! Ah! Pull! You don't normally fire, uh... Shotgun for clay shooting, no. No, you do normally fire shotguns for clay pigeons, but just not normally that many rounds at once. No, it doesn't! Stop saying it does! That doesn't make it true! <laughs> Stupid drone. This hurts the drone. Oh boy, I gotta get to that other valve. You're in my way of the valve! Okay. Oh good, he was frozen. <laughs> Uh-oh. Come in! Look out! Seek his phone! We're in position. We need this door open now. Do we? Go! Oh, we'll cover you! Something's wrong! I can't get the door open! It's because I'm leaning on it. <laughs> oh, see, now it's open. Here they come. Oh, that wasn't that bad. They're making it way more dramatic than it was. Suppressing fire. Hold the door. There's a full fire team here. Good job, Kasumi. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Shepard, you need to see this. Kasumi did it! Hooray! Hooray! Oh. There's things here. I don't know why this is a suicide mission. This has been easy so far. Yeah, not even a single person has died ever. I haven't died yet! <laughs> I've only died once. Did I die? Looks like one of the missing colonists. Oh, I thought it was Kelly Chambers for a second. They do look kind of similar. Yeah, they got the same haircut. They go to the same barber. There's more. Over here. Let's get them out of there. Come on. Um, those are gases. Oh, she's melting. Or the game's glitching. God. She's still alive. Yeah, she's melting. Yeah, sadly, it's the former. She's melting. Well, that's kind of gross. Get them out of there. Hurry. Well, that guy's not melted yet. Oh, that's Kelly Chambers. Oh no, Dr. Chakwas! Save her! Save Dr. Chakwas! If you save only one person today, make sure it's Dr. Chakwas. She's been saved! Dr. Chakwas, are you okay? She looks unconscious. Shepard, you... I'd never abandon my I was Captain Shepard would never abandon his crew. No one gets left behind. Oh, Garris is here. Thank you got here in time. A few more seconds and I don't even want to think about it. The colonists were processed. Those swarms of little robots, they melted their bodies into grey liquid and pumped it through these tubes. But for what purpose? Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened to us. So are we. But we still have a job to do. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. That can't be the whole crew. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. My god! Orton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. Uh, I mean, they must have some kind of weakness, right? What about biotics? Could we create a biotic field to keep them from getting near us? Yes, I think it may be possible. I wouldn't be able to protect everyone, but we might be able to get a small team through if they stayed close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? Uh, duh, Samara, because she's the most powerful biotic I think I've ever seen. <laughs> well, 
there are other options too you can consider. Go on, like who? Jacob? Yeah, no. Miranda? <laughs> yeah, no. Thane? I, yeah. No. When have I seen Thane use biotics? <laughs> He's just like, oh, I'm a biotic. He's just straight up lying. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm totally biotic. <laughs> Remember when I did all that cool biotic stuff and I floated through the window and killed my daughter? <laughs> that was Samara! Stop making up stuff, Thane! <laughs> God! <laughs> okay. Well, I'm picking Samara. All right. I bet Samara can do it. All right. Samara and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. <laughs> the rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? Um, oh, this is for the, the diversion team? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, same thing. Leader, um, it's gonna be Jacob, Miranda, or Garrus. Why is that? Um, because they're, they're a team leader again. Okay. So, we'll go with... You don't think Thane could be a leader? I no. Thane's a lone wolf again. It's we okay. I'm just gonna go through this list real quick. Lone wolf, leader, 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 lone wolf, lone wolf, lone wolf, cannon fodder, <laughs> cannon fodder, doctor, cutie. <laughs> uh, you know, I think Miranda did really good last time. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll let Miranda be a leader again. I'll keep the defenders busy while you slip in the back. What about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? We're in no shape to fight. That's true. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. We'll have somebody escort them. God, come on. <laughs> You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. Morden! Why Morden? Because he's a doctor, so he can make sure that everybody is, like, capable of moving back there. Have you looked up the solution to this? No! I feel like maybe you've already seen the suicide I have before. not. Okay, whatever. I have not seen it. I'm literally picking Morden because he's a doctor and he should be able to get everybody back there. Okay. It would be... If I have to... If I if I could pick multiples, it would probably be Morden and Kasumi. Because Kasumi can scout out ahead. Okay. If I can pick multiples. But we'll pick Morden. You promise you're going into this blind? Yes. Okay. Because I know you were talking about how you were like, I'm going to look up the answers. And I did not. I swear I did not look up the answers. Because I know you didn't want me to ruin it for myself. I didn't because I like watching people play through this blind. It's my favorite thing to do. I swear I did not look up anything beforehand. Okay. I swear on the inverted cross of Satan. Who we all know exists. <laughs> I swear on the devil. Okay. Why? Am I making like really good choices? No one's died yet. <laughs> It's not a proper suicide mission until somebody dies! <laughs> I'm ruining your plans through my excellent tactical decisions! By this point, the game had already lost somebody! <laughs> Actually, no. Now that I think about it, I hadn't. So, never mind. You're doing as good as I did. So. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> you gotta take it back? Yeah. Why? Should I not pick Morden? Uh, should pick I pick somebody else? You can pick whoever you want. Who are you going to loot to? Escort the crew to the Normandy. I, I honestly think it would be Morden, just because he's a he's a scientist slash doctor. I how, think he would probably be best for helping everybody get back. In how one piece. how would his scientist and doctor skills help the team? Because he's a familiar with like doing a large amounts of first aid. He's right there, brilliant scientist, researcher, and famous inventor. Yeah. So I think he's a true genius for all matters biological. How he is, is the very or he is a. <laughs> The very model of a... Scientist Solarian? Scientist Solarian! How is his scientific and biological knowledge going to help lead a bunch of people back to the Normandy? He's going to keep them all safe and in one piece. He is going to be the team medic. He is the corpsman. They don't need a medic. They need a leader or something. He's a corpsman! I guess it'll work. You uh, do okay. Here's the, here's a good question Your for you. Your logic's not You flawed. have a full squad of injured personnel. You need them to get from one place to another where there will not be as much enemy contact. They're not injured, they're fine. They're only a little dissolved. <laughs> Would you prefer to send someone that is a well-trained commando who will probably leave them for dead while he's scouting up ahead to make sure there aren't any enemies? Or would you prefer to send a corpsman with them that can make sure that they're not limping? Morton is both! He's a well-trained commando slash corpsman! Okay, so that's he's the perfect person then. <laughs> If that's who you're gonna choose, then I guess I can't debate you. Joker, need location of landing zone. We'll meet you there. 
We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. See, I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and now for my squad, I will pick. I'm gonna bring Grunt because Grunt wants to kill some shit. Um, <laughs> bring Garrus. <laughs> And watch them bicker with each other. <laughs> what do you think they have to talk about? Oh, I don't know. Oh, what's his new armor look like? Ooh, it's white! Oh, that's cool! Well, we're gonna... I think we'll bring Grunt and Garrus. Ooh, I like that. That's cool looking. Grunt and Garrus? Yeah, I think we'll do Grunt and Garrus, because I want some heavy hitters. All right. Moving out. Try to stay close. Oh, yeah, it's Samara is doing this. I probably don't want to go ahead of that. Probably not. She got a whole little bubble going? Yeah! It's a dome, but yeah. And for the record, I probably would have brought Jack for this. Damn. The swarms are interfering with radio. I probably would have brought Jack for this, except that Jack hates me, and I have no guarantee that she wouldn't just stop you think, and let me get killed. You, you think that Jack would do better than Samara? Yeah, maybe. I think Jack might possibly be better than Samara. Um... Although ja I think Jack has more offensive biotic abilities than defensive biotic abilities. Yeah, pretty true, yeah. We've been fun. Hey, it's Harbinger again. Fun time. Hi, Harbinger. Here, have some armor piercing ammo. You gave that to Garrus. Oh. Okay, here we go. There's Harbinger. Oh. You keep telling Garrus to put armor piercing ammo on his weapon. Oh, it's, it's that's not a shot. No, that's you want to use the concussive shot, which is the other one. That's it. Oh, yeah. You, you didn't actually knock him over, though, because he's got armor on. But it, yeah. Doesn't matter. It's still a healthy chunk of damage. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up. How do you know it's all clear? You're not even ready facing. To move, Commander. This, this is a valid point. Not going to um, use a shotgun? Yeah, because I have to leave this bubble to use the shotgun, and I will be dissolved by those things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? Sharon's afraid of a little couple of bugs. Yes! I don't like bugs! I don't like them! What, really? Where? Oh, no! It's zombies. Well, yeah, sure, zombies. We'll go with zombies. Zombies! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I got to take cover behind something. There we go. Let me know when you're ready to move. Ooh. Ah! Run up, run up, run up. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was such a good shot. Oh, it was amazing. He just freaking obliterated him. <laughs> yeah, you brought two people with concussive shots. Seems a bit redundant. Yeah, but it's still fun. <laughs> I thought there was arm or ammo over here, but apparently not. So what's going to happen if I step outside this? Ah! <laughs> yeah, that death. Got it. <laughs> watch, watch. I'm gonna stick my toe out. Watch this. <laughs> You're tempting fate, man. They're gonna carry you off. No, they won't. I'll hold this position until you're ready to oh, move Oh, this could be a. Re oh, okay. Oh, good. Oh, we got all the husks. Oh, and the big sky on. Oh, here comes an exploder. Oh, he, he's running away. He gave up. He's like, no, oh, not cry, whoever. No, what do I do? Now he's in range to be booped if you wanted to do that. I guess you can. Oh, oh, wait, shotgun, shotgun. He's in range. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? That's just rude. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Oh, I thought he was just like sitting cross legged on the ground, like, I'm gonna sit this one out. <laughs> yeah. I gotta do my meditations, Commander. I don't know if that's a meditative chance or not. Well, it is now. We just made it one. Oh, no, I know what meditation he does. This is not normally a song you meditate to. <laughs> oh god, you're being swarmed again. I know Help. how much you love that. Help! I will hold on. Oh god, Samara! No, 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 no! As I can. Oh god, Samara is like totally getting fucked up here. This is super not good. Yeah, she's having trouble. I should have 
maybe. I can see the entrance. Oh my God, Samara, you can make it. You can make it. Can I carry her? Soon. She's got to maintain that bubble. She can't do it if you're carrying her. She probably could if I was carrying her. Oh boy. So yeah, she's like in full dead on sprint now. I'm just I gotta get there. Yeah. This is not good. It's like you after you've eaten Taco Bell. Like, oh, I gotta get out of here. Gotta go. Gotta go. Hold on. We're almost there. Why doesn't anybody think to try and carry her? They're too busy shooting enemies. Mr. Kind of Frodo, I can't carry the oh. ring, but I can carry you. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Keep it up. Hurry, I'm gonna be sad if she dies. I like her. Oh! That's effective. Well, hot damn. And then she just goes and throws up for a while. <laughs> I'm fine, I'll be fine. I'll be fine, I just gotta throw up all this extra biotics. I copy. What's your position? We're at the door. They've got us pinned down. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come on! Seal the door! Oh, I think Miranda's dead. <laughs> I'm ready for action, Commander. Oh, nope. Did you just get- were you just faking getting shot? <laughs> Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chakwas and the rest of the crew just showed up. Morton's group just arrived, Shepard. No casualties. <laughs> Excellent. Damn it. Now let's make it count. <laughs> Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. Um, I think somebody should hold the door. I could either just try to run real fast, but from personal experience, just running really fast from my problems doesn't really make them go away. <laughs> so I think maybe someone should stay and confront my problems, but not me. <laughs> someone should stay and confront my problems, that is not me. A rear guard could defend this position and keep the collectors from overwhelming us. Pick a team to go with you, Shepard. Everyone else can bunker down here and cover your back. Oh, so this is just who's coming with me? Yes. Okay, um... <laughs> I think I should end this game just how I wanted to start it. With Garrus and Tally. <laughs> I think Garrus and Tally should be my- should be the final- or the- the people that go with me for this final mission. I'm ready, Commander. So am I. Anything to say before we do this? <laughs> Feel sorry for the Collectors. <laughs> They are going to get straight up destroyed. <laughs> yeah. The Collectors blindside their targets, hit and run. As powerful as they are, they're cowards. They've never had to stand and fight the best of us. That's you. Except you, Jack. <laughs> You're just harping on her. Yeah, she wants to be a bitch, so I'm going to treat her like a bitch. <laughs> this is the last step. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down to this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. Yeah! We'll do our best. Good luck, Shepard. Jack's just like, fuck you. <laughs> she flips you off. Bye, Commander! Bye, Commander! Get fucked! Hope you don't die, or maybe you do, I don't care! Alright! We're ready. Ready? You ready? Here we go! Hostiles incoming! Everyone take fire or cryo ammo! Woo! And then we- yeah, I might want to take cover. On the other side of the cover, yes! Oh, that's a shotgun. That's not normal for me to forget which gun I'm using. <laughs> it's not a mistake you normally make, but sadly here we are. Well, in real life it's definitely not a mistake I normally make. Oh, am I using the pistol? I was trying to use my assault rifle. My mistake. It's an automatic rifle. It's not an assault rifle. Get it right. Well, that's how we know you're a stickler about guns. I don't like people calling it an assault rifle. Why not? Because it's not an assault rifle. It's an automatic rifle. Or AR stands for Armalite Rifle. Yes. Yes. Is it really such a big deal if I call it an assault rifle instead of an attack rifle or whatever? Like if I call the clip a magazine? That actually doesn't really bother me that much. No? 
It actually doesn't really bother me if people call a clip or a magazine a clip. Because I know, I, I understand what they're trying to say. Like, I get it. You understand what I'm saying when I say assault rifle, but you still get really bent out of shape about that. That's true. Hey, Commander. Why don't we have some quiet time? I know you feel this. Mm, you're right. I do love robot girls. Come over here, buddy. Uh, mm, oh, give me a smooch. He's not really a robot girl. In fact, he's nothing because he's gone. I love robot exoskeletons. Come and give me a smooch, baby. Incoming. Is it? I don't think so. Um, I probably don't want to use my Ghostbuster gun yet. I have 725 ammo for it! <laughs> Ghostbuster gun! Pew! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love Ghostbuster gun. Tally, no! Oh my God! da 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 there's a drone behind you, you might want to take care of that, otherwise it's gonna kill you. Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm really hurting. Oh, shit! <laughs> More Scions and Exploders! Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, we'll just use it for this. Just, just this one time. It's okay. <laughs> it was already frozen when he got to you. Also, yes, you want to boop them because they're exploding. Oh, or, or not. Okay, this does not work well on them. <laughs> Cover? Garrus, Garrus, stop. You're you're right. I can't see. Garrus, I can't see. Garrus! <laughs> Garrus, I'm in third person. Get out of my view. Hey, Shepard. <laughs> Can I go, like, watch a movie after this? Yeah, that, that sounds great. Wait, can Tali come? I was kind of hoping it would just be you and me, Shepard. <laughs> you can... It's, I mean... Sure, yeah, why don't we invite Tom? I feel like a third wheel, but I, I guess if you really insist on bringing your girlfriend, fine. This gun killed two presidents! <laughs> <laughs> you screaming at him? Why? Is that your battle cry? Yeah. This is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. Yeah! Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? Hey, look, waterfalls. The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non-organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. I bet. Shepard, if my calculations are correct, the superstructure is a reaper. It's a space hot dog! Not just any reaper. I, what? What? A human reaper. When did this turn into Terminator? Precisely. Just do, now. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. ba -na -na! ba -na -ba -na -ba! So it's an incomplete reaper. It's not done yet. Why? It's still a work in progress. Don't judge. Why would they make it look human? They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Okay, but why use organics? Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. Uh, significantly more? How many more humans do you think they try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. An embryo in human terms. I mean, it's got a spinal cord. That's something. Is it alive? So it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. Uh, why would they do this is the important question. Why do you think? That's the I'm sure that the question that you're all wondering is why would they do this? And why are they doing this? What did the collectors gain by turning humans into this reaper shell? Oh, that's a great it may band be name. Facilitating the Reaper equivalent of reproduction, or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the collectors are merely pawns. We're all merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this Reaper is not. Darius disagrees with it. It is likely that different species construct each Reaper. In this case, the collectors provide the labor. Garrus is sitting there. 
Why aren't they making a Turian Reaper? They think humans are so much better? Nah, they should've been grinding down Turians. Turians would be much better. Turian Reaper would be much better. We've already got a metallic carapace, so we're the halfway robot already. Yeah. The Collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? The Reapers subdued the Protheans. We already established that! I don't know why I even asked that question. They attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers. Tools for the Reapers. Alright, well, obviously we can't let it survive. Clearly. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We gotta take care of some. Oh, we do? What are hostiles incoming? Oh, where? Where? Huh? What? Where? Where? Where is this happening from? Incoming! Tell me what direction it's happening from. Oh, down there. The okay. gunfire! It's coming from the gunfire. Oh, Tali, what are you doing out there? No, 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 no. No, Tali, no. Come back. You wanted me to be your meat shield commander. That's Tali. what you said, yes? Tali, no. You can you can be helpful without being directly in their line of fire. Go absorb their bullets? Is that what you said? No, Tali. No, don't absorb their bullets. What if I love bullets? Bullets are my friends. Bullets are not your friends, Tali, please. Oh no, what is torrent a rupture into my suit? Guess oh I'll god, Tolly! I guess I'll die! <laughs> Tolly, no! <laughs> we are yes, I know. <laughs> He's just attacking the drone. <laughs> I hate these drones so much! Those drones are so helpful. Shoot the tubes! Oh, shoot the tubes, okay. Almost got that one, had to reload. Oh, you're kind of screwed. Yep, I'm dead. I died! Well, somebody died in the suicide mission! Hooray! It's a suicide mission after- that makes me happy. For a moment I thought maybe no one was gonna die on your suicide mission, and that would make me very sad. I died on my suicide mission. The end! It was my suicide <laughs> mission. Oh, uh, spend points at the squad screen. You can't do anything with your points. Well, I guess you can oh, give Oh, I can do something with his. Um, we'll do... Give more overload. Yeah, we'll do overload. Man, he's trying to intimidate us, and we're making George the Jungle quips. <laughs> Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the Jungle! Strong as he can be! Do, 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 do. Like the so army I motto what says. I, what I need to be doing, and I haven't been doing it, or if I have been, I've been doing it accidentally, is kill all of the. Ah, okay! Kill all of the small ones first. Oh, it's not happy about that. Um, so I kill all the small ones first, and then kill the Overlord, because otherwise he's just gonna take over another one. Oh, you mean take out all the lower level troops and then take out Harbinger? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, otherwise he just keeps taking people over, kind of obnoxious. Yeah. Tally's down. Tally, no! You know, Zack, Metagel heals all wounds, but it won't heal Tally's trust that has been broken as you let her die. No! Oh, I guess I didn't shoot the tube fast enough. Didn't shoot the tubes fast enough, no. Nope. Well, I need more ammo and I have none. Ow, 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 ow! If only you had three other guns to choose from. Yeah, but all my other guns aren't any good. You tell me you're not gonna go up there and shoot the tubes with your shotgun? Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm, li I'm running now. Please, no kill. Please, no kill. No kill. No kill. Man call me on phone. He said Mandela is kill. I said no. He said yes, he hang up. Okay, no, I know what's going on. I know what's going on now. We're fine. We're fine. We're back on track. And it's dead. Give me the tube! Oh, get good! I did! I did so. I wonder if my team is dead. Oh, the people you I haven't behind. heard. I haven't heard from them. You a little worried about that? I'm a little worried they may have died. Oh, there's no way that's gonna come back. Clearly it's dead forever, and it won't just, like, slam a claw up here. Shepard to ground team. Status report. It's safe. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. And Jack looked like she was dead in the background. <laughs> yeah, it didn't look great She was just flopped over something. Sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's patching it through. Oh, what does he want? Shepard, you've done the impossible. Uh, not yet. I still have to destroy the base. Not necessary. I have a better option. 
I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. Uh, I'm sorry, what? So, let me get this right. I basically just killed the Queen Alien from the movie Aliens. And now you want me to make sure that all of the eggs are safe so we can bring them back and do research and turn them into a weapon. No, no, we're going to blow up all the things that are organic in here, but we'll be able to use their technology still. This seems kind of fucked up. It's just, this, it seems kind of like an abominate. What are you going to do with it? It's not exactly portable. What are you suggesting? Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. Uh, this kind of doesn't feel right. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. Ugh, that's kind of tough. I feel like somebody else set off a nuclear weapon, and I'm seeing it, and I have the potential to have the nuclear weapon. But it kind of feels like that if I have one, that's going to change everything and make it not good anymore. Weird analogy, but it might be appropriate here. You would you have a lot of You phrased that power. in a really weird way, but I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of seems like that's a lot of power, and I don't know if we can really handle that. You know, man's hubris and all that. Right. Well, the decision falls on you. Uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like... Well, what are we going to use it on? I mean, it's... it's Yeah, you can say, oh, no, we'll only use it against other Reapers. But then... What's to say that there's no more Reapers, and then we're like, well, we got this huge cannon, and there's a colony over there that isn't doing what we're telling them to. Let's unleash a not-Reaper on this planet until they pay their taxes. You think this technology that you salvage might be misused? That's How do I'm you like this giant Reaper, poor moisture farmers? <laughs> Please, God, what did we do to deserve this? You didn't pay me money. Did you say moisture farmers? Yeah. <laughs> I said they farm moisture. <laughs> that's what, that's what uh, Luke's aunt and uncle did. They farmed moisture. In Star Wars, oh. there were moisture farmers on the planet Tatooine. A bunch of dirt farmers from out west. They don't know any better. Not like crops or anything. Uh, I feel like it would be a huge benefit. But to what end? I don't know if I want the elusive man having this. Mm. And having said that, if I turn down the elusive man, he may just murder me. <laughs> you don't think he takes re rejection well? He may just straight up murder me. <laughs> he might just blow up the whole Normandy. He could. Maybe. Somehow. With his vast resources. He would also probably wait for me to... Well, because no, if I blow up the whole thing, he might just send another team in. If you... What? What do you mean? If I, I, I think the, the main choice I have here is save myself and my team, or what's left of them. Okay. Uh, cause I have no idea if Jack died during the suicide mission. <laughs> it kinda looks like she did. She was just hurt, slumped <laughs> over something. So Jack may be dead. Um, so I have the choice of saving my team, or saving future generations from having to deal with a corrupt bureaucrat that owns pretty much everything. In which case, I prefer to save my team, because those are not my- th those later generations are in no way affected by me personally. So I don't care what happens to later generations. Oh, alright. I still need convincing. It's a tough choice, yeah. What would you do? I can tell you what I did. What did you do? After you make the decision, I'll tell you. Oh! <laughs> you! I don't want to- Incomplete to... butt! You are half a butt cheek! <laughs> I don't want to influence your decision making here. Ah. Oh. But I will tell you that no one's going to fault you for picking one option or the other. They're both pretty good options. Uh, for different reasons, obviously. You know, I've always kind of believed that if we hadn't built a nuclear weapon, World War II wouldn't have ended any quicker, and the world probably would have been a lot better off. If we hadn't involved... In if we hadn't built nuclear weapons, World War II wouldn't have ended any quicker, and the entire world would have been a lot better off. 
the entire world would it be better off if we didn't. If there were nukes? no nuclear weapons. Eventually, someone was going to get them, though. See, I don't know about that because, like, there was the only reason the the only reason Russia had nuclear weapons was because the U.S. built nuclear weapons, and the only reason the U.S. built nuclear weapons is because they thought Germany might be building a nuclear weapon, which they were. But to be fair, they did a really shitty job of it, and they wouldn't have finished it by the time the war ended anyway. Even after the war has ended, eventually people are going to figure out how nuclear bombs work and be able to construct one. But I still feel like the world would have been better off if we didn't have nuclear... Or if we hadn't invented a nuclear weapon when we did. You're trying to draw parallels from that to this? To this. I don't know if necessarily this thing as a military technology is a good idea. I think this could potentially be very, very bad. Maybe not now, maybe not in a hundred years, but at some point, this technology could be really, really bad. So are you going to discard it at that point, or are you going to use it against the Reapers? That's the question. That's the million dollar question. Uh, I mean, we did just completely screw up a bunch of Reapers, but who's to say that they're not making more? You only screwed up the collectors. The Reapers are on their way. Okay, well, you know what? It's a really dangerous gamble. It's really dangerous. And a lot of people died for this. I'm, I'm going to take it and use it. It's a real dangerous gamble, but I think at this point the cons of it would outweigh... Or the benefits would outweigh the cons at this point. Okay. I think the benefits of having it and using it would outweigh the cons of having it and using it. We'll need a strict galactic-wide governing body saying when and how collector gra- or uh, reaper-grade technology can be used in war. And I will head the United Nations Council on this. On the reaper technology. And by say- if I head the United Nations Council on this, I will mean we'll find out who's using it, and then I will personally go execute them. A threat this big, rules go out the window. If this station can help stop the reapers, we have to use it. You're making the right choice. I'm surprised neither of them had anything to say about that. Let's move. In ten minutes, the reactor core will fire a radiation blast that kills anything on board. Oh, they're not happy. Oh no, that exact thing that you said was gonna happen is happening! Oh no, it's back! Oh my god, it's a giant thing that's kind of like a... Uh, a, a zygote in terms of de- embryonic development. I have rebels! Oh, it went back down again. Just kidding. Bye. Oh, okay, bye. All right, guys, it's gone. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Okay, I'm going back down. I did some damage to it. I hope you don't also shoot my eyeballs, which are also a weak point. Are oh, they? my weak points! Ah! Oh, you were right. They are weak points. Oh, why are they designed with so many weak points? God, come on. I can- I am, like, having a really- I am having a heck of a time tracking on this guy. He just keeps popping up and down like a jerk. <laughs> Stop moving like that, it freaks me out. God, come on. Hi, it's me, the Reaper Zygote. Be friends with me. Uh, where? Okay, I just want to make sure he wasn't behind me. Just, you know, pop a couple more times. You know what? His eyes look a little red. Has, has he tried Visine recently? Because that might help out with his... Don't blood. drink the Visine! Why would he drink it? I don't, well, maybe he's dumb. <laughs> oh, I'm about to get, like, completely screwed. <laughs> yup! The moment I released that, I knew I was gonna get just all kinds of screwed I up. was about to say, good job dodging that slow projectile. And then the, the moment I thought that, you got hit with 18 more. See? Woo. That was a good dodge. Good dodge, man. Good, good dodge. dodge. And bye. This guy is annoying. He's a total butt, man. Oh, uh, I don't have a timer anywhere on the screen, but I'm assuming it's still counting down. Yeah, I didn't really think about that, but you did set that charge, didn't you? Yeah, can, uh, Tali, can you go, like, change that just a little bit? Just, 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 kind of... Ow! Wah, he hit me with a piece of a building! He destroyed the, the platform behind you! You're standing on... <laughs> oh! God! Oh my god! I did not realize he could or would do that! Yeah, he did! He almost fell off to your death! Oh boy, I might have to kill him faster. Which is really annoying because he is just moving and ducking and weaving all over the place. He's using good tactics! Yes! Let's be fair! These are good ta- ah! These are good tactics! <laughs> particle beam! Particle oh good! Beam. He's still destroying the stage! 
Particle man, particle man, doing the things a particle can. No, it's What's a particle. He like? It's not important, particle man. Is he a dot or is he a speck? When he's underwater, does he get wet? Or does the water get him instead? Nobody knows. Particle, particle cannon. Man. Particle cannon. <laughs> 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 Universe. Oh, Tally got hit with the red electricity. Universe man, universe man, size of the entire universe man. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> that was just one shot, like into the middle of his chest, and it, <laughs> apparently a hit. That was his actual weak point. You should have been shooting at that all. Oh, wow! He just won't stop destroying the stage, will he? Stop destroying the stage! Oh, wait, what is happening? What? <laughs> Oh, one of your teammates is supposed to be dangling off the edge right now, but the game didn't load it properly. Oh, God. Yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> that was supposed to be a big dramatic moment, but the game freaking glitched. Yeah, Garrus was going to be dangling to his death. It would have been really dramatic. Just just pretend that he, that just happened. Okay, we'll pretend that Garrus was there. Just like... And then just put like a really crappy JPEG of Garrus. <laughs> Hopefully your team isn't dead right now for a serious low. Um, I hope not. Garrus looks like he might be dead. Oh! Nope, he's alive! Oh, Garrus is good. That's good, one out of two. One out of two, Tali, please don't be dead. Please don't be dead, Tali. If Tali's dead, I quit. Yeah, she's not <laughs> dead! <laughs> Commander! Come on, Shepard, don't leave me hanging. Do you copy? I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? Survivors on board, we're just waiting for you. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. Okay. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. C can you stop talking? Don't worry, they're all gonna get blown up in like 20 seconds. Oh boy. Uh, Edie, can you shut off the comms so we can stop talking at me? Oh, just go ahead and fire main cannons at them. Like this, Commander? That's good. I don't think Joker ever thought he would actually see ground combat. And Terrence Shepard was so cool that he could run and jump so far with his power actuated legs. He ran and jumped, but didn't make it. Oh, Terry Shepard didn't step. make it! Terry Shepard is falling away death! Somebody help Terry Shepard! <laughs> Somebody help Terry Shepard! Thank you, Tally! <laughs> Detonation in 10, 9, 8. Yeah, I get the gist of it. All the collectors that are on there are like, well, they got away. Dude. You wanna go to the you wanna go to the defect and get some waffles? Yo, yeah, waffles sound good. I like waffles. All right, cool. Let's go to the defect. Hey, who put this bomb here? Is that a time is that radiation? A bomb? Is that a time radiation pulse? Oh my god, it is! Oh, I don't think we're gonna get waffles after all. You have failed. We will find another way. I'm sure you won't. Control. He looks confused. So he released control on something. He, he released control on that collector leader right there. What collector? The Reaper was controlling the collector leader right there. Oh. So that was the Reaper that was saying that the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Harbinger is a Reaper, not the collector leader. Oh. That was the big revelation. So that's why he was confused. Yes. I'm not cleaning this place up. I'll make Joker do it. We'll make the we'll make the chef do it. 
Rupert, Rupert, clean this mess up. Also, get me some tacos. I'm hungry. Shepard, it's a new day, and we have you to thank for our deliverance. Uh, don't try to flatter me. We did the right thing. You don't need to try and make me feel good about it. Always willing to do whatever it takes. Well, it's paid off. Adapting the technology of the Collector Base could be the biggest advancement for humankind since the discovery of the Relays. It will secure our dominance in the galaxy against the Reapers and beyond. Oh, I don't Human want dominance. That. Or just Cerberus. They're one and the same. My mission has always been to promote and secure humanity's continued strength. Don't let idealism blind you. Using the base to its fullest potential is the best way to fulfill ours. Uh, it's not gonna... well, I might. No! The base won't win the war against the Reapers! The only thing that'll win the war against the Reapers is the strength of the human spirit! Just remember, <laughs> the Reapers are still out there. Harbinger is coming. And you can bet he won't be alone. You get selfish, you start dreaming about power, and we'll all pay the price. Well, don't get antsy with me. Don't presume to judge me or my methods. You can shove it. Cerberus will be ready to face the Reapers. You better be. You brought me back to lead this war, and that's what I'm gonna do. If you can keep up, great. If not, I'll stop the Reapers without you. And I'm done talking to him. Ah, look at that smug grin. Yeah, you know you did the right thing. You don't need to be reassured by this guy. You know, this guy's a butt. He's like, uh, maybe this was a bad idea. But hopefully you've got another asset in your war against the Reapers. And it doesn't backfire on you. It probably will. It probably backfire for he, he immediately uses it on you to blow up the Normandy. I wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Guess I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's people just going about their routine and fixing things. Yeah, the, the ship took a lot of damage. Uh, yes, understandable. Oh, Jack didn't die. <laughs> you sound so distraught about that. Well, she doesn't really seem to care either. She just kind of nods and acknowledges my existence. This is what paper looks like. Paper? My yeah. god! <laughs> You've never seen paper before, it's all been digital. That's not true. I see. I saw those books, those paintings. Yeah, Kazumi those... had books. That's true. Hey, look what's on the horizon. That's a lot of reapers. Crap! That's the wrong galaxy. Turn left. Turn left. Oh, we made a left turn at the Albuquerque <laughs> Galaxy. That's it. That's Preston Watamay Uyuk, Mark Walters, Drew Carp, <laughs> and that was Mass Effect Two. How do you feel? Mass Effect Two is a game that I played through. And enjoyed so much you bought it yourself. For like three bucks! Actually, I think it was like seven bucks, but whatever. That's a good deal. Uh, because I want to try playing through it without you hovering over my shoulder and judging my every move. I wasn't even giving you any advice, and you did great. You lost no one on the suicide mission, which is terrible! <laughs> you failed your mission! Yeah! It's now not, they're all going to be in the next game. It's not called a survive mission, Zach! I'm so sad that you lost nobody. I played a perfect game, because I'm Zack and I do everything perfectly. <laughs> I lost Jack and Miranda and Zaid. How? Well, Jack got carried away because I made Miranda hold the bubble. Yeah, you probably don't want her doing that. Yeah, so Miranda held the bubble very poorly, and Jack got killed, and then Zaid was crushed by debris. Your two companions survived. Mine got crushed by debris and died. <laughs> Your two favorite companions? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I really liked Jack because she was my romance interest and she got carried away in the most distressing manner. And then Zaid got crushed by debris. And then Miranda. Oh, like you couldn't have Well, see that's your fault then. You couldn't have you couldn't have waited you couldn't have delayed blowing up the base for an extra 20 minutes to go find her. No! What? It's like well well like you don't put motion trackers on every or you don't put trackers on every one of your every one of your crew members. Jack trusted me enough not to do that to her. And then I disappointed her by letting her die. Nice work. And then Miranda got killed in the final battle because she couldn't hold the line. Ah. Uh. So yeah, my game was better because it was personal to me. <laughs> <laughs> 
My story is a tragic story about Commander Shepard fought for the galaxy and won, but ultimately lost everything he cared about. My story was an excellent story about how Terrence Shepard is the best around, and he knows how his team should work, and so therefore, his team was the best team because he is Terrence Shepard. Yes, Terrence Shepard is better than Mike Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, think I did pretty good. Yeah. Wow, Adam Baldwin. Holy crap. I didn't re realize that Adam Baldwin was... Uh... Seth Green, Jeff Joker Moreau, Jennifer Hale. Oh, and Hale. Jennifer Hale plays Commander Shepard. The Femme Shepard. The Femme yeah. Shepard, yeah. yeah. But, what, Carrie Ann Moss plays Arya? Apparently so, yeah. What the f... <laughs> Carrie Ann Moss plays Arya. I don't know what she's from. Carrie Ann Moss played Trinity in The Matrix. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess so then. Holy crap, that explains why I was so subtly attracted to her. <laughs> yes, and Mark Mir voices Commander Shepard, your Shepard, and also the Vorcha. <laughs> so Mark Muir plays Commander Shepard and also Yeah! Speech! I must go! <laughs> we'll back later, okay? Someone should just redo the game where they should just, <laughs> just find a way to have Commander Shepard voiced only in Vorcha voice. <laughs> we'll have we'll have Commander Elcor Shepard and his Vorcha oh, squad mates. God <laughs> With indignance. Shut off the console. <laughs> With an additional two renegade points, don't talk back to me or I'll sick my squad mate on you. Yeah, I'll kill you, Dad! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so honestly, I didn't think it was that bad. Um, I thought it was okay. I would have... When it, came, when it first came out, if I had bought it at full price, I probably would have liked it a bit. Um but I wasn't going to buy it at full price when it first came out because the only experience I had had playing this game or playing any of these games was... The first game. The first game, which I played for about five hours and I hated. Mm -hmm. I hated the first one. I could not do it. Yep. I get that. Um, so, did the first one have anything with, like, mining planets, or was that new in this one? That's new in this one, yeah. Okay, because I remember, my first experience with this game was I saw somebody playing this one. And I was like, oh, that looks cool. Oh, this is the second one. Well, I can't play the second one until I've played the first one. So I started playing the first one. I hated it. And I went, I'm not playing the second one. See, I didn't even have the option of playing the first one because I started with the second one because the, for the, for like a few years, the first game was only available on Xbox and I had a PlayStation at the time. Oh, I didn't know it was only available on Xbox. So sadly, I didn't get the full experience of going through the full, the full trilogy from front to end because I had to start in the middle. Cause I'm sure people will want to know who your romance options were. The person I romanced? Obviously the first time was Jack. Yeah. Was it, was it the same one every time you played through? Do you just kind of do like the same thing I do every time I play Fallout 4 where I only romance Piper because I'm a one-trick pony no, and I'm Piper best? I've romanced, well, I don't play this game very often, but I did play this game a lot. And I've romanced probably all the companions, except probably not Jacob. He's not a very interesting romance companion. But Thane, Garrus, Miranda, Jack. Unfortunately, Jacob just kind of seems like less, uh, a, a less interesting character. The problem with Jacob is not that he's not interesting, it's that everyone else is incredibly interesting and he's average. Yeah, that's, so that's looks, what I was about to say. Yeah, he's, he looks terrible by comparison. By comparison, he's just like... Fairly like, generic. In the middle. Yeah. He's just... He's not like completely disinteresting, but he's just not really interesting. I think in any other game where it didn't have a bunch of aliens, Jacob would actually probably be an interesting character. Yeah. But in this game where you've got a bunch of aliens, you got to... Where you have a bunch aliens. of alien companions, one of which who needs help being proved that she's not a tre treasonous liar, another one who needs help killing her own daughter because her daughter is a succubus. Jacob's thing of trying to find his dad is less interesting by comparison. It's probably one of the most boring loyalty missions, yeah. Yeah. By comparison, you and I did a lot of similar things. We both destroyed the genophage data with Morden. We both ended up... Uh, you saved the facility for the elusive man, so did I. I did that decision as well. Yep. Mm-hmm. I just lost more people during the suicide mission, sadly. I'm assuming that later ones you probably had everybody, like, survive. Yeah, it's pretty easy once you know the strategies. Oh, I just kind of went with what I thought would make sense. And that turned out to be the ideal thing. You played it very smart. Yeah, I'm smart! Which, unfortunately, means that that smartness does not transition into my normal life because I'm terrible at doing things in my normal life. It's a, just a total mess of pretty much everything. I, but in video games, I'm very good at making decisions. I was really rooting for you to lose somebody. I don't think it's a proper suicide mission if everybody survives. It's not 
it's not unique enough to the experience, but I'm glad at least for you. Since but then that person isn't in the next game. That's true. Yeah, a lot of people from and Mass all Effect that dialogue won't be in the next game then. Well, here's the thing. In Mass Effect 3, if you don't bring over certain characters, then they get replaced by entirely new characters. So yeah, you'll see these characters in Mass Effect 3, but, oh. but you're not going to meet some of these other characters. So it's not a bad thing to lose people in this game, because well. you'll have a different experience if you did. Hmm. But congratulations on doing it perfectly. You went in blind, and you went through perfectly. So I am perfect. Yes, Terrence Shepard is a genius. Terrence Shepard is a tactical genius, and is terrible at dealing with other people. Mm-hmm. I Just to balance this out so you don't feel bad, yes, he is a genius when it comes to combat and tactical decisions, but personal one-on-one experiences with other people, he gets poisoned every time he goes to bars. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wish we could say that's the first time Commander Shepard has been poisoned at the bar, but that'd be lying. No, it happens pretty much every single time. I don't know why he keeps going back to bars. All of his crew members keep telling him, Terrence, you can't... C- Captain Shepard, you can't keep going back to bars. You're just going to get poisoned by somebody again. And he says, no, no, no. It, are, it only happened the last 37 times. It can't possibly happen 38 times. 38th time he's poisoned. 39 is my lucky number, he said, waking up from an de- almost dead stupor. But 39 is my lucky number. Oh, clean out dead fish. <laughs> I forgot about my fish. I, Actually, you know what? I didn't forget about them. They got killed in the collector attack. Yeah. My poor fish. I guess the suicide mission wasn't a complete... The suicide mission killed my fish. <laughs> I killed my fish. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God, Admiral Fluffy Pants. You've made it. Oh, well, I, got, I guess I gotta go flush these fish down the toilet. <laughs> All right. Fish have been flushed. <laughs>